Hello, Trump Fest! You guys look like you're ready to party, except the mosh pit. The only people sitting down are in the mosh pit. Come on, I'm gonna do some stage diving soon. I need you up. Welcome everybody to what I know is gonna be an incredible evening for you tonight. We're gonna to bring a little bit of Australia here to New York tonight. We got any Aussies here? Yeah. <laughs> oh dear, we're gonna, it's gonna be a long night. But by the way, to start with, can you guys please put your hands together for all the musicians, the people who've been entertaining us this afternoon? Alexi Murdoch, Dubman Malagas, as well as DJ Concerned, Yas Supreme. Come on, big round of applause. Thank you. Hi. I can't read. Not that far. Your mum loves me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Mum. It is such an honour to be part of Tropfest here tonight. Uh, this is the world's largest short film festival, and it continues to take over the world. 20 years ago, my friend John Paulson showed a six-minute film he made for under 100 bucks at his local hangout in Sydney, the Tropicana Cafe, Trop as in Tropfest. Little did he know that that one screening for our 200 of his friends who he had to pay to be there, would set the creative wheels of an entire generation in motion. And the Trop Fest would actually become a national institution. And listen to this, it draws 150,000 people each year in Sydney to watch it and hundreds of thousands more watch it live on TV. Today, Trop Fest is springing up all over the world, New Zealand, Arabia, Las Vegas, which took place just three weeks ago, by the way. And from what I've heard, it was an all-out party, not that I'm allowed to talk about it. And in the works, there are Trop Fest festivals in places like China, Southeast Asia and Europe. But now, the world's largest short film festival has arrived in the Big Apple. Over the past two decades, some incredibly successful directors, writers, actors have all had their start at Tropfest. Actors like Avatar's Sam Worthington, uh, yes, the great Gatsby's Joel Edgerton were all entrants before they hit it big. Uh, the director of James Cameron's Sanctum, Alastair Grierson, entered, got noticed from his Tropfest entrance as did Nash Edgerton. Edgerton. Even the cult US television show Wilfred, starring Elijah Wood, began back in 2002 as a Tropfest winner. Anyone watch Wilfred here? Yeah. In fact, no less than 10 of the... I love you, baby! No, no less... No... No less than 10 of 20 winners from Tropfest have actually gone on to make full-length feature films. It's a great record. But our overall goal, ladies and gentlemen, is to bring filmmakers the biggest and best platform in the world from which to launch their careers, regardless of how big or small their budget is. And we think Tropfest is a great place for you guys our audience to come together every year for free just to see what's on the minds of the, of the brightest talent that the world has to offer. I know you're going to have a fantastic night. You're not going to be standing all night, let me tell you. But obviously, who's been here all afternoon? Who's been drinking all afternoon? Fantastic. As I mentioned, this year we are celebrating Tropfest's 20th birthday. So before we get on with the night, we thought we'd show those who may not be familiar with Tropfest a very brief history. This demonstrates... Oh my God, Baz Luhrmann's here. This is unbelievable lighting. Look at this magic hour. Any filmmakers here? It's roll cameras. Okay. This demonstrates... This, this clip you're going to see demonstrates who we are where we've come from and where we're headed. Please take a look. The film that started Tropics was worth and that was my film. A thousand people showed up. People broke out onto the streets and the cops came and wanted to shut it down. The reason it's taken off is 
place because it filled a gap between amateur and professional. And the trumpets came along and hit smack bang in the middle. <laughs> Now hang on, hang on, hang on. Yes. We need to add to this reel how amazing you guys are. So we're gonna literally, I've got my camera, come on out here. Ready, on the count of three, you're just gonna go crazy. One, two, three, Bray Park, truck bears! <laughs> Not bad, pretty good. who got out and made a film for this event. We've had support from partners like you wouldn't believe, from media, from the community. It's been unbelievable, Hugh. Fantastic. Australia, we share everything. Now, not everything.